When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as brilliant cruelty. I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. God bless you, in Jesus' name. Amen. We commence our day's service by singing number two from our Pentecostal hymn now. I'll speak the name of Jesus now. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our scripture lesson will be followed by missionary Faker.
lesson is taken from today is Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel 37. And I will read. We will read together. From the first to the fourteenth verse. Let us read together. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by the roundabout and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and i answered o lord o lord god the lowest again he said unto me prophesy upon these bones and say unto them O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring flesh, sorry, and I will bring up, up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bones to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them about, but there were no breath in them. Then he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say unto the wind, Thus said the Lord God, Come forth the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O oh my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O oh my people and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and perform it, said the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's praise the Lord Jesus. Let's praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen.
the great I am, Lord, we give you thanks, we give you praise. God, we magnify your name this morning. As we see, God, that in the cross, be our glory ever. We thank you this morning, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, God, for being here another day to lift up and to adore your wonderful name. Lord, we thank you, Lord, God, for health. We thank you, Lord, for strength. We thank you, Lord, God, for the will, for the power, Lord, that we can all gather in your sacrament this morning, Jesus Christ. Oh God, to lift up and adore your holy name. Oh Lord God, we thank you, Jesus Christ. Even those who are watching at this time. Oh Lord God, whether by YouTube or by Facebook, whatever means that you are watching this morning, Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord God, to remember them. Oh Jesus Christ, and about this morning, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, for today. Oh God, the thing that is to be set up today, to the God. We pray that it may be done to the glory, but to the honor of your name. I pray this morning, Lord God, for a fresh anointing. I pray this morning, Lord God, for a fresh touch for your people. Oh God, as we gather this morning, Jesus, I pray, God, that you will be with us. Oh God, take over today, take control. Oh God, we are my servant, Lord God, who will deliver your word today. I pray, God, you keep with God. I pray you protect in Jesus Christ. I demand your blood, Lord God, and he can continue, Lord God, to speak as a part of time. Oh God, we leave everything this morning into your hand, into your care. Oh God, remember this country, Jamaica, that we love. I pray, Lord God, you touch, Lord God, those who are in our poverty. Remember the Prime Minister this morning. Remember the opposition leader, Lord God, and the team. I pray, by the light, in spite of Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, as they leave this country, Lord God, Jesus Christ, our Savior, Lord God, in your life. Oh Father, God, have mercy. We pray this morning, God, we will take over, take control. Oh God, if any sickness, if any problem, if any heartaches anywhere, oh God, if by watching at this time when you're sick, have faith in God that He is a deliverer, that He is a God who can deliver you from all your sicknesses. Oh, Father God, we thank you. Take over today, Jesus Christ. Let your will be done, Father. When we shall leave this place today, God, let us all leave with a testimony. It was good. Lord God, we can join with the night, Lord Jesus Christ, or in your sanctuary. Have your way this morning again, God. Take over everything, God. The songs was ever to be done. We leave everything in your hands. I pray that again that you move mightily. Move in the corner right now. Oh, hallelujah. Take control. Take up your authority. Oh, God, we find the force of hell. Right now, Jesus Christ. Every principality is God. And every power we pull them down right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, as we worship you this morning, worship with the free. And Lord, that even those in your homes right now will be delivered of every condition. Father, take control. Oh God, for all God's churches this morning, Jesus Christ, all the pastors, all the saints, keep them courage. Oh God, they can't go to church as they are to. But we pray that one day, Lord God, this shall pass. And we all shall gather, Lord Jesus Christ, as your people. Oh, hallelujah. Take over this morning. Take control. As we humble you by faith and say thanks. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My
Amen. And we're all here to hear a word from the Lord. Amen. Let us just put our hearts at the place to receive a word from the Lord today. And let us be accepting of the word that the Lord sent to us today. Let's praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. As we ask for a word. And as the talk said, God's plan is different from our plans. And let us just accept the word that the Lord sent to us today. But before our bishop should come with the words of God, we'll be having a song from Missionary Faith and Company in Jesus' name. Amen. And the next voice you hear is that of our bishop.
that you have kept us and you lead us thus far. You at this time, Lord, as we come to this part of our service, we will listen a word from you. I pray, God, that you permit me to that as I open my mouth, you fill it with your word. Let your will be done. Speak to us in a special way today, Lord, as we look to thee by faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So this, today I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus, our soon coming King. God is awesome. He's an amazing God, and nobody could be God but Him. He's so awesome. And so I asked somebody a question this week. Who benefit from the chaos that now exists? in our world. Who benefit? In the darkness, the world was in a chaotic situation. God came in the picture and called things into order by instituting light. We are in a situation where somebody is benefiting from the chaos. Well, one thing I know, God is not a chaotic God. And the people of God is not a people of chaos. They are people of order as God is a God of order. Let me not get beside myself, but let me say to our branch pastors, greetings in the name of Jesus to all our brethren, wherever you are. Greetings to our friends that are listening. God is still God. So as I was saying that in the chaotic situation that now obtains, we are hoping for it to be over in a short time. And I don't know that man really have the answer. I believe though that God has the answer. Earlier on in this pandemic, I, we were told that the greatest thing that could happen is that we have vaccines. Because once people are vaccinated, then they will be in a position to fight off this pandemic, the COVID-19. And so, in record time, vaccine was ready. No sooner than the announcement is being made that vaccine is ready, we have persons saying that we have not taken no vaccine. So it tells me then that something is wrong somewhere. Because if we have a problem, we need a solution. And if the solution that the world comes, comes and there is another problem with the solution, it tells us something is wrong. But let me hasten to say again, we look to the wrong direction for the solution. And if we continue looking in the wrong direction for this solution, we will always go in the wrong in service. So we have several vaccines. And some is said to cause what or what suspect or whatever. But we the church are from a school of thought. That everything that we put in our body has to be sanctified by God. Praise the Lord, church. When we go to 
doctor if we have to go to the doctor. When we the medication, we have to ask God to touch the medication before the medication is able to do what it is supposed to do effectively. We are that confident in God. And I believe that the world needs to go back to the status when God is first. And without God, we realize we are going nowhere. And try as we might, we are heading to nowhere without God. So I did not hear when the vaccine was found. I didn't hear a call for the pastor and the preacher. Somebody to pray and ask God to touch it. Strength it. In order to preserve life. 
living in Israel. But no one knows what God has to, what God has in store for anybody. But God knows what He has. And this is why I say to us, let us be faithful in spite of the COVID situation. You don't know what God is doing. God is doing, God is doing something good. God is not a mischievous God. God is working on it for the good of His people. Somewhere, somehow, we're going to rejoice. Somewhere, somehow, we're going to speak. Somewhere, somehow, we're going to testify about it. Sorry.
my only chief, my own out of the three, is only one that came was that world. Hallelujah. And now we said, my daughters, you are young. You have your future. I'm going to return to your young return. And then she said, let me go with her. And she go and go from her. And then she spread it out as it is. She said, look, you're young, you have no food. And I am old. And even if I may have picked me again, you can't wait for that. So go back and continue your life. Then I would imagine that they, because they love her so much, they begin to cry and weep. But Arthur bid her goodbye and gone back to her family. But Ruth, hallelujah, hallelujah, somebody, there have got to be a Ruth somewhere. Ruth said, What? Entreat me not to leave me. I will return from following after me. Where the lowest I will go. Where the largest I will last. Thy people shall be my people. Thy God shall be my God. In our world, roots are no 
Not pray tonight. I knew it. When you were sure, you don't pray. Turn over. I need to pray. Say, look at Hallelujah. This way, there's no food on me. No food on me. Hallelujah. No hope on me. I'm going in there. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. If Jesus go with me, I go. Somebody say, hey, the way you walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. My husband is dead. My father in law is dead. My brother in law is dead. But God is alive. Hallelujah. Ladies, 
they show you how to carry your mother in law. Yes. When I work here, you guys have to work here, Mama. Hello? Yes, you guys say, give me over here. Say, dinner over here. Let me go up. My time is far off then. So Ruth was bleeding. And here comes a man named Boaz. And this room then up in a boss field. So the boss saw a root and inquired who she was. And and little little boys know that while he was in Israel doing his business, God was in more preparing his wife. Little little room know that wife was in more.
if you're watching at this time, you've heard the word, just lift up your hand and praise the Lord. Tell yourself, I am a woman of purpose. You woman do that. Say to yourself, I'm a woman of purpose. If you are a man, say to yourself, I am a man of purpose. It's not over until it's over. Hallelujah. The writer said, or the preacher will say, don't let nobody write you off. Go write to yourself off. I am a purpose. Oh, praise the Lord. God has spoken. Let the church say Jesus' name. 